these are crafting hands. Hi YouTube dolls, if you would like to see how I made these designer handbags, then all you have to do is keep watching. You will need a silicone per small. I got mine from Amazon and I will leave a link down in the description bar below. Glue sticks and a hot glue gun. There is 11 styles of bag, three of which is inspired by Chanel. There is a Birkin, Dior and a few more designer favorites let's get started I usually start with the handle and then I press into the rest of the mold trying to get in all of the nick and crannies so that we can have a really pretty bag. While we wait for that one to dry, I am going to do an other one. A tip though for doing these bags is not to pour glue into the next bag. I'm trying to put glue in the next bag close by would move and shift the glue from the previous one leaving ear bubbles and uneven spaces so just give yourself some room alternate your um, making of bags so maybe you skip every three every four that is something I have learned from doing a few of these so as you can see I did do one on camera and it did leave a lot of ear bubbles and so forth so as I said just give yourself some room so that the glue can take time and dry with no interruptions I allow my glue to cool down completely to touch and then I removed my pieces this is the one that I did next to the following one and as you can see there is a lot of ear bubbles inside of it so that is why I say give yourself space Just showing you guys a few more that I did off camera. Um, the quality is really great. As I said, take your time, pour in enough glue, giving them space by alternating your bags. Don't be doing the one right beside it. And allowing it to fully cool as you can see one I did on camera and one I did off camera the one I did on camera have a lot of ear bubbles kudos to everyone who crafts while filming oh wow it is so hard but I know that over time by doing it time and time again I will get a hang of it and be really good at it now I just repeat the step by putting in glue in my mold and after I finish folding it up to the desire I like then I take the first mold that I did and I attach it on the top to in my bag I position it and slowly press it in 
I usually push in the top of the bag closer to the silicone while the bottom sticks out a bit. That gives it a perfect balance so that the bags can stand on their own. So after making all 11 bags, painting them, I like nine out of the 11. So I think that is a great bag to like nine out of 11. Here are the end results. I think I think I love them. They are super cute. They are the perfect size for Barbie. They are not too heavy, not too lightweight. They can stand on their own. The dog can hold them. This is a win-win situation. And 11 purses, 11. So this is definitely a doll store. To paint these bags, I use nail polish, craft paint, anyone will do. YouTube doll, thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, turning on the bell so you will never miss out on any of my videos. Bye YouTube dolls. Hey, coming back for part two.